so here this is our contact form and we will add condition in this contact form like if that condition is certified then we will show another field or input field. okay so for that first we lift all condition add on for contact form go to plugin here i have already installed contact form 7 plugin you can check it here plugin i have already installed contact form 7 now for condition i will install another plugin Yes, search for contact form 7 condition plugin. And you will get condition fill for contact form 7. This one is now install it. And then activate it. Now, here you can see another option condition field. Now, here I have two contact form. You can see I have already created a default contact form that was given by contact form plugin. You can see the default view. I will just copy the short code of this contact form and show how it look like in a dummy page. Okay, so let's create a page. Now, here with with short code, we can show our contact form. Like you can see, this is contact form view page. Now here you can see this is our contact form. Okay. Now we will go on contact and contact form. Add it. Now here you can see there is uh, four options, name, your name, your email, your subject and your message. So suppose I want to add a, yeah, here I can replace with your first name and when someone fail his first name then I want to show his second name. So for that we will create, I will create two fields, first name and second name. Yeah, okay. I will change it here also. Second and first. Now I will save it. Now to add, now you can see if I view that page contact. Now this one is here. You can see there's your first name, your second name, email, subject, and your message. That's all we can see. So now. If we want to hide second name and we want to display it only if someone failed it's first name for that we'll go to our contact form here first we need to add the condition field group in our contact form here condition field group insert tag and whichever element or input field you want to hide it must be inside that group like I have created a group with condition field group and this group start here and end here now it will be hidden like I will show you here you can see your first name email subject and message second name is not funny so now we will add condition to show second now go on condition field add condition 
select here field if show second name last name sorry last name if first name equal to first name is not empty if first name is not empty then we will show second name here Currently, first time is not showing. If I fail, P A W A. Here you can see. Now, if it is empty, it will be hidden. This is condition. Right. I will add another condition. Like here, I want to classify some for something for children or some other input field for adult. I will create a field name age. Okay. Level age age and here I will insert number age okay insert tag level I want to show parent's name if age is smaller than 18, 18 then he need to fill his parent's name otherwise he doesn't need to fill his parent's name. I will create a first I will create a condition field group okay condition field group in short now inside it I will create a label parent name and here I will insert text parent insert tag and I will end that okay now it is created it is inside group and if I save it and go to our form here you can see your age email you you didn't see any option of parent name okay now it is not showing now we will add condition ok for here check the group value group is 983 in condition field create condition we will select group 983 here because group 696 is for second name group 983 is for parent name condition field select field age equal to none we want greater than greater than 18 sorry me we want smaller than 18 sorry less than or equal to 18 if someone is smaller than 18 then parent name field will show okay here i will refresh first i will input my name now here i can see second name now you can see parent name is not fine if i type 9 here you can see parent name and if i type 29 no, it is not fine if i it is 2 then it is showing but if i type in 30 then it is not fine okay so that's how you can create condition in contact form 7